I was in the supermarket the other day about to buy some tuna fish when I sensed this very disturbed presence right behind me. There was something about her focus that made it very clear to me that she was a disturbed person. So I thought, well, you should never look at a crazy person directly. So I thought, well, I'll just keep on looking at these tuna fish cans, pretending to be engrossed whether they are in oil or in water, and then she would go away. But instead, whack, she brought her fist down right on my head, screaming, would you move, asshole? Now, why did she do that? I mean, she hadn't even said at some initial point, would you please move, so that I would have known what her problem was. Admittedly, I don't always tell people what I want either. Like the people in the movie theaters who keep talking, I just give up and resent them. But on the other hand, I don't take my fist and go wham on their heads. I mean, analyzing it. Looking at it in a positive light, this woman probably had a horrible life story, which, I mean, kind of explain how she got to this point in time, hitting me in the supermarket. And if I knew her life since birth, I could have made some sense out of her action now she got to this point. But even with that information, which I don't have, it was my head she was hitting and that's just not fair. It made me never want to leave my apartment ever, ever again. I am the predominant source of energy in my life. I let go of the pain of the past. I let go of the pain of the future. In its place, the happiness, love, 